Hello, my name is Mateo Vasquez, and today I'll be taking you through the wonderful world of IT. Today's topic is... The topic today is an intranet, intranets, and extranets. Now, these are not the same, though they are very much related. Also, they're all useful in their own right. That's about all I really have to begin with. Let's dive in. The Internet. Is the Internet the interwebs, the cat place that lives on in our imaginations and is a physical line of database? No, actually, the Internet is the Internet. Um, not really too much to say here. I did a whole video on how the Internet actually works. I think it was okay. Um, yeah, I'd suggest watching that if you're interested in the Internet. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's also a whole bunch of other people around in this group that also did internet stuff. We covered it pretty thoroughly. Um, what more can I say about it than it's the giant, giant connection of networks and pipelines and everything that runs on HTTP and HTTPS and, um, well, it's the internet. That's not what we're here for. What we're here for is intranets. Intranets are... Well, the best way I can put it is it's a personal internet set up for the computer. Basically, it uh, basically an internet runs through standard internet protocols, HTTP, HTTPS, other things like that. And the point of it is f so that it's kind of its own segment of the internet, uh, but not the internet. It's not connected to the internet. It has its own router, network, and everything, but it has it's an internal structure for one company. Here, I'll, I'll give you an example through this. We have here um, the Switch MBC1, which is connected to PC t PT6 PC, which through the Switch connects to Switch APU. Then um, I'm just using letters or pointer now. These are not, these letters and numbers, man, man. These letters and numbers are too much for me. Um, basically, so from this Switch uh, PC. This guy can run up through here, connect to this guy right here, and they can communicate information back and forth. Or this guy can link all the way to the main hub switch and access to this switch and connect to this router over here or this server database. The router letting them to go to the actual internet where there's a, well, it's the internet over here. I mean, come on, it's massive. But it doesn't necessarily have to be linked like that. Or if this guy needs information from this guy and shares files, they can link through those two. Or a chain over here is where the server is linked to that. Kind of like a network. Well, it is a network. Um, but the point is, all these are running off internet protocols. So you can set up web pages for it. Use HTTP design. Use all the wikis and web 2.0 systems set up that you would find in everything. And you've created an internet with restricted web pages, limited access, and just... Uh, it's more focused for the people who are using it. That's the whole point of the internet. It, it eliminates a lot of the distractions that occur um, that I've, with having unlimited access to the internet. A lot of the issues that are requiring employee monitoring are removed through this process. Other real thing about the internet is that it allows basically the connection through all this to also double as a LAN network or anything like that as so long as the internet and yes it can connect to the other in internets through the routing right he right over here this can connect to much further on so that's now the benefits of an intranet as I said before are collaboration and also efficiency is a major one now collaboration here with the teamwork and everything would allow people to kind of like actually collaborative software if you think about it but at the same time not really it's all kind of it, it's it's the it's allows you to all work through the internet and also make sure that everyone's focusing on what needs to be done i can post up my information here on the company website that they, all the computers in the company have now but don't have to go on and I go looking through meme based and cheeseburger because it's too distracting stuff stuff like that well that also improves the efficiency of the company because i'm not paying you for your work over there you're in my company please do my work i mean 
other issues I talked about how much time is lost with um, with just time off tasks at a company and restricting the number of website and pages they can go to by just having a certain specific intranet allows a lot to happen. You still get all the benefits of an internet, especially if you have access and restrict and de-restrict some things, especially research areas, but it allows you to make a more private, beneficial, secure network that has, well, everything working for it without needing to block certain things from the internet and not having to go all crazy for it. Also, it kind of works against stuff like um, proxies and everything because the, the web pages don't exist on the internet. It's not that they are not there. It's just how it works. And really just boosts efficiency. That's its main purpose. Disadvantages. Well, it still can have problems like this. This is more than an internet issue, but if an internet is poorly designed or links too well to the actual internet, Facebook forever and ever and ever and ever. Oh, um, did, did you want that document? I'm sorry, I didn't hear about that. Um, I'll do I'll do that as soon as I'm done with this YouTube video. You see the problem? The other issue is security. How safe is your computer? Real question. How safe is your internet connection? If anyone gets into one computer on the internet and they're all given equal access opportunities, well, okay, there went all our company secrets and our trademarks and our, yeah. We kind of got screwed there. Basically, the big problems of internets is they don't always solve the time on task issue and they can be unsecure if something goes wrong one terminal to access in them all one terminal to bind them one terminal to okay okay you get it one terminal can give entire access to anything else out there now to the extranets okay there's a few definitions about extranets what they actually are basically it's linking a few things together I like to think of it this way Internet, 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 internet. Well, let's put them all together and make an extranet. Basically, it's a bunch of intranets linked between extra internets. And in general, it has the same issues, problems, advantages, and disadvantages of a regular intranet. It's just now between companies, so everything gets magnified. Well, these are my references. Okay. Um, that's about it. Bye. Well, that's all about all I've got to say for now. So, until next time, bye.